We're on review lesson one. We are going to be talking about classifying shapes. Mainly we're going to be talking about different types of triangles, all right? So we have a scalene triangle. That means none of the sides of the triangle are the same length. And I'll show you pictures of these in a minute. We have an isosceles triangle. That means two of the sides of the triangle have an equal length or the same length and equilateral triangle. All of the sides have an equal length. Next we have a right triangle. In a right triangle, the triangle has only one right angle. An acute triangle is the triangle has all acute angles. No right angles, no obtuse angles. And an obtuse triangle, the triangle has only one obtuse angle. It's impossible to have an obtuse triangle um, with more than one obtuse angle. So just one here. So let's look at these scalene triangles. You can see that none of these sides are the same length. This one looks kind of close, but you can see it's at an angle and this one's straight. All right. The other thing that we can see here is this is a right scalene triangle because it has a right angle and it is scalene. This is an obtuse angle. So you have an obtuse scalene triangle. All right, it's both. It has an obtuse angle and none of the sides are the same length. Here's another obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees. So you have an obtuse scalene triangle. It is both. Now we have isosceles triangles, so two of the sides are the same length. So this side and this side are the same length, and if you look at the angles of this triangle, all of them are an acute angle. So you have an acute isosceles triangle. It's both descriptions. All right, here, um, let's see, it looks like this side and this side are the same length. All of the angles are acute, so you have another acute isosceles triangle. And last, we have two lengths of the sides are the same, so you have an isosceles triangle. But we also see right here, we have a corner, right? We have a right angle. So we have an isosceles triangle that is also right. Now we have an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangles will always be acute, okay? Because with equilateral triangles, the angles are always 60 degrees, okay? And that's all acute. So we have three equal side lengths. And we have three equal angle eggs lengths, which are, or widths, I guess, that are 60 degrees. All right, here are some acute triangles. You can see that every single angle in these triangles are acute. You need three acute angles to have an acute triangle. Obtuse triangles. So remember, you can only have one obtuse angle in a triangle at a time. So you have an obtuse angle here and here. So these must be labeled as obtuse. And finally, you have right triangles. Here is your right angle here. And then we see this corner, even though it's tilted, it's still a right angle if you were to measure it with a protractor. And you've got a right angle there, so they are both right. So what I'd like you to do for your homework is draw and label an acute scalene triangle, draw and label an obtuse isosceles triangle, and draw and label a right scalene triangle. Thanks for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.